So here's my uh, Bounty Hunter Pioneer 101. Got this off of Craigslist for 35 bucks. It's probably like a $80 metal detector, brand new. So I've been trying to metal detect on beaches and in water. Uh, this is my second metal detector, and this one does not like wet soil. So in my experience, you cannot use a Pioneer 101 for beach hunting. I tested this out before I bought it. I just brought some stuff and... So I guess I'll show you the depth on this. It doesn't seem to have much depth to me. So I've got a hose clamp right here. We'll go over it. So I have it about six inches off the ground. Nothing. About th three inches. So that's uh, metal detecting when an object isn't even buried. It doesn't have six inches of depth. <clears throat> I like to have uh, it set on sensitivity on low and discrimination on high so it's not just going off like crazy. So I have this one sensitivity set on low and then discrimination set on high. Ooh, I already said what's going on here. So low, high, <laughs> and then uh, it really only seems to work with a switch in the middle on all metal. Uh, if I switch that disc, my hose clamps right there, nothing happens. Here's some chicken wire. No, but it, maybe this is just for big pieces of metal, because it does work on my uh, hose. Works on a faucet there. A little bit on the metal hose. My hose holder doesn't go off. <laughs> a little bit. And then you switch it on. So that was on disc. And you switch it on tone. Nothing on the hose clamp. Nothing on the chicken wire. It goes off on the faucet. And the hose. Nope. No hose holder. So, uh... This is just a, uh for fun metal detector. It does work. You're not going to be finding things that are very deep. Uh, but uh, $30 I, I'd buy it. Uh, some, something to do and uh, might be able to find your car keys or some pipes in, in your yard or wiring or something. Find studs in your house. So this is my second metal detector. The first one was a Garrett from like uh, the 80s. It was for uh, supposed to be an underwater type water what metal detector. And uh, I did some reading on it. They said you could go like uh, up to six feet underwater with it. I had a waterproof case. And some other guy said this is just, uh, you could submerge it lightly. And I used that metal detector once, and there's about 
two foot waves and the waves were splashing up on me and that was enough to get water inside the metal detector and it partially shorted it out and then I used it like two or three more times and it shorted out so it was like the guy wanted 150 bucks for it and uh, when I went to look at it, uh, <clears throat> putting the batteries in it and putting the case back on, it would stop working, but it would work with the case off. So it went from 150 to 75 bucks, and then I spent like $30 on a charger and rechargeable 9 volt batteries, and I got to use it like five times, and it was junk. So I can kind of see how people are disheartened with metal detecting. First one broke. This one is no good for beach use. You know. But that's what my experience metal detecting. And uh just uh let people know how this one works. Pioneer one hundred bounty hunter.